Are you frustrated by a warning message that says there are too many files in your application for changes to be monitored? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue with the Google Cloud SDK and help you get back to coding. I totally understand how annoying it can be when you're trying to run your local development server and you hit a wall with warnings and errors. It can feel like you're stuck in quicksand, right? But don't worry, we're gonna sort this out together. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. A user recently installed Go and the Google Cloud SDK, but when they tried to run the local development server, they received a warning about too many files. They also faced issues with the go get command, trying to compile code instead of downloading packages. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solutions. So, what does this warning mean? Essentially, the development server is unable to monitor all the files in your application due to a limitation. This can happen even if you have only a few files, especially if they are in a complex directory structure. Let's break down how to resolve this and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can help you avoid this issue in the future. To address the warning about too many files being monitored, the user should first check the number of files in their project. If the project has a large number of files, they may need to adjust the file watching settings. Next, the user can increase the limit of files that can be monitored by modifying the system settings. On Mac OS, this can be done by updating the launch CTL configuration. After adjusting the file limit, the user should restart the development server. This will allow the changes to take effect and should resolve the warning. If the user continues to experience issues with the go get command, they should ensure that their go environment is set up correctly. This includes checking the geopath and ensuring that the necessary packages are installed. Finally, if the user encounters errors related to undefined types, they should confirm that they are importing the correct packages in their Go files. This may involve updating import statements to match the latest package structure. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of Go was released in 2009? It has come a long way since then, but even the best tools can have their quirks. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests that the issue arises because the Google Cloud SDK is located inside your GoPath. They recommend moving the SDK outside of your GoPath or creating a new folder for your project files. This should help resolve the too many files warning. Additionally, to resolve the build failure, ensure you correctly set your GoPath before running the command go get googlegolangorg slash appengine. This will fetch the necessary appengine package and its dependencies. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution from another user suggests a simple fix. They mention that in their version of the Google Cloud SDK, there's an option called Enable Watching GoPath. By setting this option to false, they were able to remove the warning about too many files being monitored. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests addressing the file monitoring issue by using the skip files option in your AppBot YAML file. This allows you to exclude directories like vendor and node modules, which can contain many files and cause the warning. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative solution comes from another user who faced a similar issue. They suggest moving large packages and repositories into a vendor directory. This approach can help manage the number of files being monitored by the development server. Here's the pro tip I promised. Regularly clean up your project files and keep your directory structure organized. This will help prevent similar issues in the future. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the warning and get your development server running smoothly again. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.